It's about time to begin our service. Let's say we do appreciate your presence. We're glad to have Brother Tim's sisters with us. Let's stand about the blessing of the Lord in our midst. Lord, as we come before you, we come with thanksgiving and honor. We realize it's not what that we can do, but it's what you can do. You gave us this opportunity, asking that we may redeem the time, being found faithful and obedient to the word of the Lord. Your blessing would flow. The healing virtue would flow in the bodies of those that are sick. Conviction would grip the hearts of those that are lost. Lord, in our worship, we'd be one mind, one accord, wanting the self same thing. We ask for it all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the pilgrim way. For the hand of God in all my life I see. And the reason of my bliss, yes, the secret all is this, that the comforter abides with me. He abides, he abides, he abides. Yes, he abides. hallelujah, he abides with me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the comforter abides with me. Once my heart was full of sin, once I had no peace within, Till I heard how Jesus died upon the tree. Then I fell down at his feet. There came a peace so sweet. Now the comforter abides with me. He abides. He abides. Yes, he abides. Hallelujah. He abides with me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides with me. He is with me everywhere, and He knows my every care. I'm as happy as a bird and just as free. For the Spirit has control, Jesus satisfies my soul, since the Comforter abides with me. He abides, he abides, he abides, oh, he abides. hallelujah, he abides with me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way. For the Comforter abides with me. There's no cursing for the things of the world they take of wings. Long ago I gave them up and instantly. All my night was turned to day. All my burdens rolled away. Now the Comforter abides with me. He abides, he abides, hallelujah, he abides with me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides with me. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierced my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on, through Him I must swing. Oh, I want to see Him look upon His face. There to sing forever of His saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. When in service for my Lord, dark may be the night, but I'll cling more close to Him. He will give me light. 
Satan snares me, vex my soul, turn my thoughts aside. But my Lord goes ahead, leads whatever be tied. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. When in valley slow I look toward the mountain high, and behold my Savior there leading in the fight. With a tender hand I stretch toward the valley low. Guiding me I can see as I onward go. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. When before me billows rise from the mighty deep, then my Lord directs my bark, he does safely keep. And he leads me gently on through this world below. He's a real friend to me, oh, I love him. So, oh, I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. When before me belongs right. From the mighty deep Then my Lord directs my bark He does safely keep And he leads me gently all Through this world below He's a real friend to me Oh, I love him so Oh, I want to see him Look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice cares all past home and last ever to rejoice some glad morning we shall see jesus in the air Coming after you and me, joy is ours to share. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Headed for that jubilee, yonder in the skies. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise oh what glory hallelujah when we meet our blessed savior in the sky seems that now i almost see all the sainted dead rising for that jubilee that is just ahead in the twinkling of an eye, change with them to be. All the living saints to fly to their jubilee. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory. Savior in the sky. When with all that heavenly host we begin to sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring. Millions there will join that 
us all, and with them we shall be. Praising Christ, ages long, heaven's jubilee. Oh, what singing, singing, oh, what shouting, shouting, on the happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. Yeah, some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air. Coming after you and me, joy is ours to share. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Headed for that jubilee yonder in the sky. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting on the happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. When with all that heavenly host we begin to sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring. Millions there will join that song, and with them we shall be. Praising Christ, ages long, heaven's jubilee. Oh, what singing, singing, oh, what shouting, shouting, on the happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the When I can get the time But all I'm getting lately Is leaving all my mind Lately all I've got Is leaving all my mind Seems that's all I think about A better place to live I just can't seem to get excited About this world What it can give I couldn't care less If I could buy it all A solitary time What good would this world be to me With leaving all my mind lately all I've got is leaving all my mind oh it seems that's all I think about most of the time soon and very soon I'll leave these troubles far behind
You're my joy. You're my peace. You're my comfort in the time of need. You're my shelter. You're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when the path grows dim. When the waves of doubt come crashing in, you're my anchor in a troubled storm. Almighty God, oh, you're my joy, you're my peace, you're my comfort in the time of need, you're my shelter, you're my rock, you're the one I depend on. Yeah, you're the road to hope when the path grows dim, when the waves of doubt come crashing in. You're my anchor in a troubled storm. Almighty God. Oh, and you bore the cross, and you bear the scars. You are my bright and morning star. Oh, yes. You gave me light that I might see. The kind of person that I should be. You gave your life to set me free. Almighty oh, God. Yes, you're my joy. You're my peace. You're my comfort in the time of need. You're my refuge. You're my rock. You're the one I depend on. Oh, Lord, you're the road to hope when the path grows dim, when the waves of doubt come crashing in. You're my anchor in a troubled storm, almighty oh, God. Oh, yes, and you bore the cross. Thank you, Lord. And you bear the scars. You are my bright and morning star. Oh, you gave me light that I might see The kind of person that I should be You gave your life to set me free Oh, mighty God Thank you, Lord, that you bore the cross Oh, and you bear the scars you are my bright and morning star. Oh, you gave me light that I might see. The kind of person that I should be. You gave your life to set me free. Oh, mighty God. Thank you. The enemy came against me, and he caught me by surprise. I became so fearful, for it seemed I'd not survive. Then God came near me in a way I've never known. He brought comfort to my shattered heart. And a joy that overflows I've won, I've won The victory has come Though the enemy still makes his presence known I planted my feet in the Word of God the battle I've won Now I know there'll be more battles That come from day to day 
Lord, clothe me in your armor as I take up the shield of faith. Lord, you are my stronghold. My heart will not fear. With your word as my weapon, I know victory is near. I've won, I've won. The victory has come, though the enemy still makes his presence known. I planted my feet in the word of God. Bless the Lord, he fought the battle I've won. Now I know there'll be more battles that come from day to day. Lord, clothe me in your armor as I take up the shield of faith. Lord, you are my stronghold. My heart will not fear. With your word as my weapon, I know victory is near. I've won, I've won. Oh, the victory has come. Though the enemy still makes his presence known. Glory be to God. I plan on in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, oh Jesus. Of God, hallelujah, bless the Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. On, 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 certain if God is for you, who can be against you. Amen. The Lord will fight our battles for us, won't he? And victory shall be ours. Amen. He, uh, the battle's already been won when we put our needs and our petitions in the hands of the Lord, we can count it done. Because, amen, when he came, he come to, amen, complete the task to offer salvation unto mankind, redemption, healing, and deliverance from the curse of sin. Amen. Thank God tonight he bore that curse in his own body upon the tree that you and I could be free. The Bible said, whom the Son sets free is free indeed, don't it? Praise the Lord. You know, it's a, there's joy in serving the Lord, ain't there? Real joy. You know, the Lord already gave us a warning that in the world we would have trouble, but in Him we could find peace. A peace that passeth all understanding. 
Amen. Thank God one of the fruit of the Spirit is peace. Amen. Joy, long-suffering, temperance. Just tonight God wants us to, amen, allow Him to make us what He would have us to be. In ourself, we're not good. The good in us is Jesus, isn't it? Amen. He is the good in our life. Lord, as we look to the Word tonight and the third epistle of John, if you have your Bible tonight and you'd like to read along with us, I want to, amen, as John admonishes us to walk in the truth, and uh, I believe it was Paul that you know, there, when he was talking about uh, Amen, spiritual warfare, and amen, and girding ourselves, amen, with that spiritual armor. Tonight, there's one thing that is for certain, we're going up against the enemy every day, and tonight he is trying his very best, amen, if not to defeat us, to discourage us, amen, but I tonight can say this, that we can encourage ourselves in the Lord because we know that, amen, the Lord is on our side. And if the Lord is on your side, you can't lose with the Lord on your side. No matter what Satan may try to do to you, amen, you can fall into the loving arms of the Lord Amen. You can find refuge there. Amen. Knowing that there is protection under his wings. He called his people there and when he was here upon the earth, he come for the purpose of, amen, healing his people and lifting the scales from their eyes that they, amen, would believe upon him as their Messiah and Redeemer. And uh, many followed him. Many, amen, uh, believed upon him. But, uh, amen, a time come, he looked out up over Jerusalem and wept. And uh, he likened his people, amen, unto a, a hen and her brood. And, uh, the hen, when she sees trouble coming, she begins to cluck and call for her little uh, diddles to come to her and to get up under her wings that she may uh, do her best to protect them. And uh, the Lord tonight, if you're under the protection of His wings, you've got all the protection you'll need. We're living in a time where the enemy is on the rampage and he's going to and fro seeking whom he may devour. Amen. The devil tonight delights in the suffering of humanity. But Jesus came to heal us. Amen. To bind up our wounds. Amen. And uh, amen. He come to make a man uh, right that which was wrong. And if we let him, amen, he'll be everything to us, won't he? Amen. He'll be the comfort in the storm. Amen. He'll be the salvation in a time of uncertainty. And amen. When it looks like all is failing, while the Lord is still there, amen. He is, amen, sure and unchanging. Praise God. My hope is not in this world. My hope is in the Lord. And I know yours is too. But I thought about our... Uh, talking about uh, putting on the whole armor, walking in truth. As we go, we'll go back to John there in just a little bit, but I, I thought about tonight being prepared for the battle. And you know we're living in a time when no doubt persecution against God's people will only increase. But I can say this tonight, if we stay rooted and grounded in the Lord and His Word, we shall prevail. Amen. Praise God tonight. With the Lord all is well tonight. 
And He is in control of every situation. He knows what's going on in this world tonight. And He also knows His own. And He will keep us if we trust and depend upon Him. Amen. I thought about Paul there. Amen. In the book of Ephesians. Amen. When he began to talk about spiritual warfare. We're living in a time of great conflict tonight. The forces of darkness, amen, opposing, amen, the power of God. But the Lord has all power tonight, both in heaven and in earth. And His Word is sure tonight, amen. And He can speak the Word, and the devil has to flee. Praise God this evening. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible said that the Spirit of the Lord would raise up a standard against him. The standard of God is his word tonight. He was speaking unto Peter, amen, there in one place. And uh, he said, uh, amen, thou art Peter. He said, upon this rock I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He didn't build the church upon Peter. He built the church upon his word. Amen. The word that come from his mouth. Amen. When he spoke, things happened. Praise God. When he spoke, the blinded eyes that were never able to see. Amen. Saul. Amen. When he spoke, amen, the tongue that was never able to speak began to speak plainly. Amen. The limbs that could not move and uh, amen he would speak and the cripple would rise up and walk amen the hand of the man that was withered amen Jesus commanded that he would stretch forth his hand and when he did it was made whole like as the other amen tonight if you obey God you obey his precious word Amen. There is great benefits in being obedient unto Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight it's the whole duty of man. Amen. To keep His Word. To apply it to our lives daily and do accordingly. To keep the Word of God. To walk within the precepts of God's Word. To trust and believe upon God. Amen. It's not to please myself, but it's to please the Lord. Put Him first and above all else in my life. Paul's speaking there in uh, Ephesians chapter 6, and he was talking about the Christian soldier. Amen. There's a song that says, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm fighting against the devil in this army. He may try his best, amen, to trip me up and uh, uh, to cause me, amen, to doubt myself. But I put my trust in God. I don't put my trust in myself. Amen. He'll challenge, amen, the truth of the Word. And he'll say, how do you know that is truth? How do you know that's the Word of God? Because I've seen the power of His Word Amen. In demonstration, amen. And when he would speak, amen. And folks would begin to receive, amen, the blessing of God in their life. Amen. He could speak to the dead and they had to rise up, amen, with life within them. Oh, tonight I, I thought about the man that come, amen, to Jesus. He needed help. I, a man for his servant that was home, uh, nine to death. And uh, he didn't even feel worthy that Jesus would come down to his house. But he, a man being a man in authority, and a man, he knew the power of the spoken word. A man, he said, Lord, I'm not even worthy that you would enter under my roof, but if you'll just speak the word, my servant will be made whole. Amen. And Jesus, amen, spoke the word of healing upon his servant. And as he went, amen, they met him as he come back home. And 
He inquired at what time that his servant began, amen, uh, to improve in this uh, ailment that he had. And he realized it was the very time that Jesus spoke, amen, and said, Thy servant is made whole tonight, church, when the Lord speaks. You can count on it to be just like, amen, he said it would be. Now, tonight we have the authority also to speak the word. Amen. And be confident that when we speak God's word, it will be even as we say. Because, amen, Jesus gave his disciples the keys to the kingdom and said, Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose upon earth shall be loosed in heaven. That's the power of the spoken word. Amen. Tonight, you can call over that sickness, that infirmity, and command it to go in the name of Jesus and believe and stand steadfast upon that word. We shall see results. Praise God, because we serve an almighty God. Amen. Tonight I'm glad I don't put my trust, amen, in gods that are made by the hand of a man. Amen. We don't put our trust in earthly things, but we put our trust in Almighty God. There's none like unto the Lord. Men have erected statues, amen, and they come and bowed before those statues and prayed. Amen. For whatever it was they had need of. Amen. And uh, tonight those statues could not answer them nor could they do anything for them. But I'm glad tonight that we put our trust in the living God. Amen. He's not dead tonight. He's very much alive. How do we know? Because we can feel Him down in our soul. Amen. We can feel the stirring unction of His precious Spirit moving in our life. And we know that it's real. We know tonight that the real power of God, amen, He can cause, amen, the sick to rise up and say, I am healed. Can you say praise God tonight? But the greatest healing that anybody could ever receive is that spiritual healing. Amen. We were sick in sin, lost and undone without the Lord. And He reached out through His Word. Amen. And began to draw us by His precious Spirit unto Him. Thank God we come and surrendered our life unto the Lord. And like the song I've just begun to live, since God's amazing grace come down, I've just begun to live. I once was dead, but now I am alive. Amen in Christ. Hallelujah. I know that my name is recorded in the Lamb's book of life. And if I should close my eyes in death tonight, amen, I'll open them up again in glory land in a place where there'll be no more sorrow, no more sickness, no more pain, no more death. Praise God. In a place that He said that He was going to prepare for all of His people. Thank God tonight, not only did He speak the promise to His own, amen, the Jews, but He also included us, amen. Thank God as a part of His family, we were adopted, amen, into the family of God. Praise the Lord. And tonight we are made kings and priests unto God through Jesus Christ. We have an inheritance. Paul said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Church, we can't be weak and be successful in God. You know, tonight prayer is, amen, the key to an answer from the Lord. Prayer and belief and trust in God. Tonight you can see things happen when you pray and trust the Lord. Amen. You can see the things that maybe some might think is impossible with God. It's just an opportunity to show that He's real. 
Praise the God. He's not quit moving, has He? He's still moving today. He's still healing. He's still saving the lost. He's still doing mighty miracles and performing great wonders even in this day. He will move in the midst of those that will allow Him to do so. Praise the Lord tonight. And it's so good that He reaffirms His presence in our life from day to day. That you can feel the unction of His Spirit so precious moving in your life. And you know that He lives within you. Praise God. Nobody don't have to convince you that it'll be all right. The Lord will let you know if you're walking favorable before Him. Amen. I thought as Paul began to write, Amen, and he I began to speak concerning prepare yourself for the battle. We're living in the last hours of time right now. Amen. The enemy is fighting with everything that he has trying to destroy and uproot and tear down. And if he could get people to throw their hands up and give up on the Lord, that's what he's out to do. Amen. Many tonight have lost the desire to follow Jesus even in the hour that we live within. Many has no fear of God, it would seem, anymore. Amen. It's as though we don't even exist to them. But one day all will stand before Him and give account of the life they've lived. Not only will they stand before Him, but they will bow before Him. And they will confess that He is Jesus, the Lord, the Son of the living God. They may not do their confessing now, but they will, amen, uh, in the hereafter. Those that said there is no God, they will acknowledge Him, amen, for who that He is. I believe upon Him as the Creator of all good things. And not only is He the Creator, but He's the Redeemer. Amen. He's the first, He's the last, He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. He's all that you'll ever need. The Bible said, as Paul wrote here, he said, put on the whole armor, amen, of God, that you may be able uh, to stand in the last uh, against the wiles of the devil. Amen. We're living in a time that we, it takes power with God to stand. You know, tonight, if people don't get Rooted and grounded in the Word of God. It don't take much to uproot them. Amen. The devil, amen, when a man or woman, a boy or girl, whoever it may be, comes to the Lord and, amen, he forgives them of their sins and puts his spirit into their life, the devil be immediately begins to work to try to drag them down. Amen, to defeat them. Amen, the devil's working overtime trying to, to, to get every soul that he can and take them to hell. But I'm glad tonight that the light is still shining in the darkness of this world. And Jesus is the light and we're to be, amen, the reflection of that light. Jesus in our life. The light tonight is Jesus in our life. And we can let that light shine before this world that they may see the good works, amen, in our life and glorify our Father which is in heaven. The good ain't in a man. The, and what man can do, the good is Jesus in the man. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. I want to stand for Jesus. Stand for the truth tonight. Stand for what's right. You know tonight there's some that they just go along with anything to try to get people to like them and to be a friend with, to them. And they'll compromise. Some will compromise. And amen. Even, amen, they'll deny what they once 
said they stood for to try to get people on their side. But I'm on the Lord's side tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I thought, amen, uh, amen, as a call went out, who is on the Lord's side? Amen. Stand up if you're on the Lord's side. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid of what the world might think about you or say about you, but stand tall for the Lord. You can take a stand for the truth and still be good to people and love their soul and, amen, treat them good and pray for them, amen, that they will also acknowledge the Lord and call upon Him and put their trust in Him. But you still have to take a stand for what's right. You can't just get, go along to get along because a lot tonight, they, uh, you know, they condone things that you know the Bible's against and they have counted things to be okay today that one time didn't stand. You know, people, they say we're living in a different time. Well, we might be living in a different time, but God ain't changed His mind either. Praise the Lord. What He uh, used to be a sin for people better still be a sin. Amen. And uh, what used to condemn my heart better still condemn my heart. Amen. You don't get so strong in the Lord that you ain't condemned about anything anymore. I believe the closer you get to the Lord, the more, amen, that things do condemn you. Amen. The more desire you do have to do what is right and pleasing to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want to serve Him and I want to, amen, present myself to Him and say, Here I am, Lord. Amen. Here I am. Speak through me, Lord. Use me to Your glory. Use me to Your honor, Lord. Amen. I know in myself I'm nothing, but Lord, amen, if You see fit, use me, Lord, to be a blessing and an encouragement unto others. You know, tonight, people... Uh, if when they begin to think that they are something, you know, and they get to feeling like that they can do this or that, they're getting ready to fall. Yeah. Amen. When you think you stand, take heed, lest you fall. Yeah. And when you realize that you can't stand without the Lord, amen, then you can stand, amen, strong for Him against the opposition of the evil one. Paul, amen, he was trying to, amen, uh, reason with the people and make them to understand you're not fighting against each other. Amen. Some tonight, you know, it seemed like they like to fight with people and I, I don't like that stuff. Amen. I don't like that arguing and fussing around. Amen. You know, Sometimes people, will, if they ain't careful, they'll get that old spirit to want to fuss, you know, and want to argue about things. Well, tonight you can state the truth, and if people don't want to receive it, you don't have to stand there and argue with them. Amen. You can just say, well, this is the way that I believe. Amen. According to the Word of God, and I won't back off of it. Praise God. I won't back down. I'll... Amen. Stand. I can't change it and I wouldn't if I could. Praise God. Amen. Uh, there's a warning for those that want to meddle with the Word. Can you say amen tonight? Those that want to change it into something that it ain't. I tell you this tonight. Amen. God don't lower His standard to meet uh, man or to suit man. Amen. They have to measure up to God's standard. And that requires laying off the world, don't it? Amen. You can't serve two masters. Amen. You can't seek after man and seek after God. Amen. See, some want the, amen, the riches of the world. 
and they have no desire for the riches of God. To be, amen, close to the Lord, to be filled with the Spirit, to have the gifts of the Spirit in their life, and amen, every day just getting closer to the Lord, being mindful of the will of God. You know, tonight, church, I, even when I pray, I want to be very careful what I say. When I come before Him, I say, Lord, Your will be done. I don't come here asking for something that's not Your will. I want to be in Your will. I want to be subject to Your will. Lord, You see the future. You see down the road. and You know what's best for me. Lord, I don't want to try to make something happen myself just because I want it that way. I want to wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Wait upon the Lord. And if we'll wait upon Him, Amen. We can run and not grow weary. We can walk and not faint. Amen. I tell you one thing tonight, church. Amen. If you're running with the Lord, you'll have strength. Amen. To finish the race. Amen. If you're walking with God, amen. I believe, amen, that you can get stronger with every step you take in the Lord. Enoch was a man that pleased God, wasn't he? He walked with God and he was not for God took him. I believe one day he stepped right out of this world into the paradise of God. Praise the Lord. But we got to keep on walking with the Lord. We've got to keep on running. Amen. The race, amen, and finish our course. I, I thought about Paul there where, amen, that he gave a, a, amen, a testimony of victory in the Lord. Amen. He finished the race that was set before him. Amen. He had run the course. Amen. Kept the faith. Amen. And he was looking for a crown. Amen. That the Lord would give him at that day. But he said, it ain't just for me. It's for all those that love his appearing. Church, it ain't so much how people start the race. It's how they finish the race. Praise God tonight. Some, amen, they did run well, but something has hindered them. Amen, that they have grown weary and they sat down beside the way somewhere. Amen, but we got to keep on running for the Lord. Praise God this evening. You got to keep on holding that bloodstained banner high. Amen, and declaring, Amen, I am a child of God. I believe in the truth of His Word. I'm looking for His soon appearing. Praise God this evening. And it don't matter who, amen, decides they don't want to go. I'm going to keep on keeping on for the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am not going to let it hinder me. When others say, amen, I'm going another way, I'll say I'm going God's way. Praise God for that is the only way. Jesus said, I'm the way, didn't he? The truth and the life. There's only one truth tonight. And that's the Word of God. Men have wrote a lot of books, amen, about what they thought about the situation. Amen. And some people, you know, they'll read what people have wrote. And I'm sure they've probably some good books to read. But there ain't no book like the Lord's book. Praise God. Amen. And you know something? It don't ever need to be revised. Amen. It don't, it don't ever get out of date. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's still just as good tonight. Amen. As it's always been. Praise God. The Lord will do just as much for you now as He's done for others. Yes, He will. Amen. And Paul said for us to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil church amen we're coming into a time where that they're trying amen in every way possible amen to put amen their foot upon the people of God and push them down and amen uh, we're seeing a time we're living in where that God's people are hated more and more and they're working against God's people. And amen, they want to push God out of their 
amen, out of their presence and they want to do away with those that follow after the Lord. And, and, and many denied have given their life for the cause of the gospel and for their faith in the Lord, but they will not be forgotten. Praise the Lord, I thought about all the souls under the altar crying, How long, O Lord, till you avenge our blood upon them upon the earth? Church, the Lord will have the final say. Man, a man tonight may sit upon a seat of power for a while, but God raises them up and He brings them down. Praise God tonight, but I'm glad tonight when others, amen, have failed, God will never fail. He will never fail. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. It seems like tonight the very pits of hell has been opened up and all you see going on in the streets of the cities of this nation tonight and how that, uh, amen, they're raging, amen, with hatred in their hearts, amen, and uh, amen, killing one another, and, amen, looting them, tearing up, burning down, and, amen, amen. Uh, I heard them talking, said they asked some what they was wanting. They didn't even know what they was wanting. They were just out there tearing stuff up and looting and burning buildings down. Well, I can tell you what's wrong with them. They're full of the devil. Amen. And they're doing his bidding tonight. Praise God. But I can also say this with confidence. Good will prevail over evil. It does every time. Good and the truth will will outshine the darkness, amen, of this world. Praise God, hallelujah. God is still, amen, sitting on the throne in heaven. Amen, and He's still in control tonight. Amen, and when He says it's over, it's over. Amen, thank God tonight. But I can say tonight my life is in His hands. Whether I live or die. I'm the Lord's. Praise God. We're living in a dark time, but it's a good time to serve the Lord. It's a good time to let your light shine. Amen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. The Bible said that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all. He didn't say sit down and give up. It says stand. Amen. Stand. Amen. When you've done all you know to do, just keep on standing for the Lord. Stand for what's right. Praise the Lord. You'll be glad you did. Hallelujah. Stand therefore, having your loins girt with the truth. Amen. What did John say over here? Amen. About the truth. For I rejoice greatly in the third epistle of John. Amen. Just one chapter, amen, but it's a good chapter. Amen, there ain't, no, there ain't no bad in the Word, it's all good. Amen, there ain't nothing bad there. Amen, in the third epistle of John, for I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. It made John glad when they come with their report, amen, that the truth, Amen. Still abide in the hearts of the believers. Praise God that they were standing for the truth. Amen. Praise God this evening. Even as thou walkest in the truth. Amen. That's the only way to walk is in the truth. Amen. For those that walk in darkness, they stumble. Amen. In the way, they stagger like a drunk man. Amen. Have you ever seen a drunk try to walk? They have a hard time of it, don't they? Amen. They just stumble and pitch and fall. Amen. But I'm glad tonight that we are not drunken under the cares of this world. Amen. When Jesus come in, He sobered us up, didn't He? Amen. And He gave us a good, clear mind to think with. 
He didn't give you the spirit of fear. These people tonight, their life is in turmoil and they live a tortured life because they have let a spirit of fear get a hold of them. I, if a black cat runs in my path, I don't think a thing about it. I just said, there goes another cat. Some, it scares the life out of them just about it. Amen. If I break a mirror, I just say I broke a mirror. I ain't going to claim I'm going to have seven years of bad luck. And if I walk under a ladder, amen, and it falls right down over my head, that's what I get for walking under it. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise God? I don't, amen, believe in superstition tonight. I believe, amen, in, amen, trusting God and having some common sense. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight, if I walk out there in front of a car and I get killed, that's my fault. Amen. Come on, church. Because the Lord, if I didn't, if something was wrong with my mind that I didn't know any better now, and I walked out in front of a car and I didn't have the sense to know that car meant danger, if I walked in front, that's a different thing. But amen. These people are not that should know better. And they're acting foolishly. Come on, church. I'm, you know, there's exceptions to most everything. But God has given us a mind to think with and make good decisions. Hallelujah. Praise God. And while I've still got my mind, we never know the day may come, you know, uh, that we won't have our mind no more. A day may come that we don't even know who we are anymore or be able to recognize others, even our own people. But while we've got our mind, we can serve the Lord. And you know something? Even those that, amen, that maybe their mind is not as it once did, they still, somewhere deep in their heart, they still got the Lord there. Amen. They still got the Lord in their life. Because their mind may be gone from them, that don't mean they've lost out with the Lord. Amen. He'll be there. Amen. To the very end. Amen. If we allow Him to live within our life, won't He? Praise God. Hallelujah. Now there's one thing about it tonight. While, amen, that there's day, I want to work for the Lord. Because when the night comes, no man can work. Amen. When it's all been said and done, and then people look back and say, I wish I had done more for the Lord. I wish that I had, amen, took uh, serving God more seriously. I don't want to live with those regrets. I don't want to. I want to do my best while I'm, Amen. Fairly healthy to get around. And I've still got my mind, amen, to know to serve the Lord and to live for Him. Amen. We never know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Thank God that I do tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. We don't know what kind of shape we may get in before we leave here, but our soul can be well with the Lord. Praise God. Stand therefore having your loins girt with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. I know I'm jumping around a little bit here. You, you, I'm back in Ephesians again. Amen. But the main thing, I'm still in the Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, it's just like going down the road. you got a yellow line and a white line. As long as you stay between the lines, you'll be all right. It's when you veer out of the line that you might get in trouble. Can you say amen? As long as people stays in the Word, amen, and they keep the Word within them, they'll be all right. Which when they veer out of it that they get in trouble. Praise the Lord. Amen. These people can say a lot of words, but if the Bible don't back it up, it ain't worth, amen, the breath that they use to speak it. If it ain't the Word, I said it ain't 
worth the breath that they use to speak if it ain't the Word of God and the Word don't back it up. And that's the truth. <laughs> and the Bible said, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Walking in the Word. Walking in the truth. Living in the Word of God. Above all, taking the shield of faith whereby you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. That shield is our protection that we can use it to fend off the attacks of the devil. The devil tonight is our arch enemy. And he come to try to defeat us. But God help me to always be able to look up. Even if the time come I could not, did not even have the strength to raise my hands. Lord, let me keep that hid away in my heart. Amen. The time may come that I can't even speak a word, but I can speak to the Lord in my spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. A time may come that I just lay there without even the strength, amen, to rise up, but I can still have the Lord in my life. And I can die in the Lord, amen, and rise in Him, amen, to never die again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We got hope tonight. We got a great promise, don't we? The promise of His Word, amen, and the shield of faith where you have... Shall, you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Amen. And praying, the Bible said, always, with all prayer, supplication in the Spirit, praying in the Spirit, praying in the Spirit. When you can get into the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God moving in you, you know you've touched heaven. Amen. Church tonight, amen, it goes beyond just going through the routine, amen, of worship. It's when we enter into the presence of the Lord that we, amen, benefit, amen, in the presence of God. When we feel the Spirit of the Lord, see, we strive, amen, against the sin of this world trying to press upon us and hinder us, but there's a breakthrough to glory. There's a breakthrough into the presence of God. You may get down upon your knees, or if you're able, and if you ain't, amen, ever how, that whatever posture that you can get into, amen, humble your heart before God, amen, and begin to pray. And it may seem like that you can't get a prayer higher than the rooftop, but just keep on praying till you feel the breakthrough to heaven. Amen. Keep on keeping on praying and trusting God till you know you've touched heaven. Amen. And you'll see results. Praise the Lord. Amen. Watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. For me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly, Paul said. Amen, to make known the mystery of the gospel. Pray for those that are on the foreign line tonight. Amen, pray for those, amen, that's trying, amen, to win others to the Lord. Praise God. God's good, ain't He? His Word is precious. There's nothing compared to it. I tried my best this evening. I hope maybe that something's been said to just bless you good in the Lord. The, the word is encouragement, ain't it? He didn't come to discourage. He come to encourage and lift people up above, amen, the shadows of despair. God bless you our prayers, they sing. Amen. You, amen. I've heard the voice says just give up. It's not worth the time. You can't do it right. I've heard the voice that says there's no way you can survive. Somewhere I learned to wait for revival. Has nothing to do with means of survival. I hear a voice that best is sure saying, Oh, yes, you can, you have to endure. Because
get tired of failing again and again. No where he's brought me and I know where I've been. Sometimes I wonder why does he keep dealing with me? Thousands of voices say, why do you care? You're all by yourself. Where is your God now? One voice stands out and cancels the rest. Endure to the end. Be strong and be blessed. Be called my name. Told him I try. Sometimes I fail, I hurt and I cry. He's promised me he would see me through it all. And when I fall, he picks me up. And I'm low in spirit, he refills my cup. And I found the answer I know the cure. Call to endure. Get tired of failing again and again. I know where he's brought me and I know where I've been. Sometimes I wonder why does he keep dealing with me? Thousands of voices say, why do you care? You're all by yourself, where is your God now? One voice stands out and cancels the rest. Enter to the end, be strong and be blessed. He called my name, told him I'd try. Sometimes I fail, I hurt and I cry. He's promised me he would see me right through it all. And when I fall, he picks me up. And I'm low in spirit, he refills my cup. I found the air. 